Thank you, Chairman. Um, good evening, Chairman Keeble and members of the House Committee on Judiciary. I'm James Dio Sumer of the City of Central Falls, and it is a pleasure to be here tonight and testify in support of H7575, also known as the Protect Rhode Island Families Act. I am here before you as a mayor of a city that, like many, faces domestic and gun violence in our neighborhoods. It is a responsibility of mine to do anything that I can to prevent violence in my community. This bill focuses on restricting access to firearms to those who have been convicted of a domestic violence offense and those who are subject to protective orders for domestic violence. At the core of this bill are the lives of spouses, partners, and family. This bill also has the potential to serve as a tool for law enforcement and help prevent further domestic violence crimes. I'm all for supporting the hardworking men and women of the Central Falls Police Department. Furthermore, this is a common sense legislation that considers the rights of everyone involved and weighs more heavily the rights of a victim or someone who is at risk. I respect the right of, for an individual to own a firearm. However, I am concerned about illegal firearms and firearms in the hand of those who the judicial system has convicted of a domestic violence offense and those who are subject to protective orders for domestic violence. In this state and in this nation's Citizens have a bond with our gov a government that provides the public with safety and freedoms, essential to a modern democ de democratic society. This bill ensures that the rights and safety of those who are unable to defend themselves, those at risk of domestic violence, are protected. Honorable, honorable members of the House Committee on Judiciary, you are presented with a difficult policy decision, but I respectfully ask that you consider the issue of public safety in an age where gun violence is far too prevalent in our society. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you.